there and over here. So you can see I'm taping off the seams here as I go. Give this a few uh, turns until this gets snug. It's even more sturdy when both doors are closed. Can't move it at all. drill through these two sidewalls here and up there and I'm going to bolt them together so that they're one big pound. see in here it's uh, a little bit too difficult to get your screw gun in here uh, this thing's really great it's a angled driver bit I'll put a link in the description down below for uh, for this uh, but you can see everything's all lined up perfectly all the way down. This is the cutout for the bed. I know my bed's going to be uh, 75 long this way and 54 wide this way. So I made the opening 54 and a half and that'll give me a little bit of room for the uh, finished walls. So the wire is just coming through here and I just have it set aside right now. We're not going to connect this until we get all the batteries and, and charge controllers and everything set up. So I've got everything all uh, taped off with plastic and everything. I've covered the vents, both front and back, side door and the front cabins taped off. Then tomorrow morning I could start the spray foam. Okay, so this is the finished product all cleaned up. I've already driven around a bit and it's a huge difference driving. Way quieter. And it's actually staying cooler in here already.
I just finished the painting of the ceiling. It took three coats. What I usually do is just put one coat and then take this uh, sander and do a very light sanding, get all the rough spots off, and then two more coats, and that gives it like a real nice, smooth, like furniture type finish. The window came out great, by the way, and it opens over here, tilts out, it has a screen. So I also have this magnetic insulated cover that just sticks on there so first i need to frame out the shower walls before i put shiplap up this is where i'm at with the shower stall here this thing has been way more difficult than i was expecting uh -oh. this exhaust is in the way for the drill bit but let me try my angled drill bit first see if that works Angled drill bit to the rescue again. This thing saved me so many different times. Now you can see I have the whole shower framed out. This whole uh, wall's done now. Uh, later on, there'll be a shelf, a little small shelf covering this area. And then once I put the shelf in, that'll come right there. And there'll be a crown molding that covers this area here. pretty damn close and now I can uh, take a pencil line mark the back here and cut that off so this molding will go in like this and then a little piece here will go here So this is how this should look. It ended up being a 25 degree angle, top and bottom. Okay, let me know what you guys think of the shelf. All finished off. Which will go in like so. It 
So now that the molding's in, we can finally finish this section here and cut this piece down to size. So really setting the first row is going to be the most important. If you set the first row straight, everything else is gonna go in really easily. One other tip I wanted to give when uh, putting in these floors, try and uh, stagger the seams. before I put metal on. Uh, but this should protect the edge if you're uh, loading things into here. Now that we have the floor done, I can finally put in the bottom layer of the walls. all together we'll give it a coat of paint and then we can put it in okay I have this installed now it's all screwed in I'm gonna put the three batteries like this and I'll have the charge controller here the inverter here negative bus bar go there See, that's a really nice tight fit. It's not gonna be moving around at all. Okay, I think I have my final setup here. Flip this switch here, and that's going to supply power to this. I checked that it's already working actually. And for the charge controller, when I flip this breaker here, that should power the charge controller. So let's see if it works. Nice, very good. So now that we're charging with solar, we can uh, start putting our fuses in and finally get the fan turned on in here and cool things off. Got the front support beam in, and uh, now I'm just putting this rear one in, and I'm using these L brackets. 
like this to attach everything. I have the mountain bike in here now just to make sure everything's gonna fit and it looks like it should work out well. So I think this is gonna be the finished product for the frame of the bed. And this is the tank I like to use. It's a 28 gallon water tank and it fits around the wheel well. See it has a cut out here. Okay, we're all insulated behind here. You could argue it's unnecessary to cover up screw holes under the bed. But I like to do it. I don't really like to see any screw holes in the entire van when it's finished. I did stuff a little extra insulation in that little crevice there. And now we can put the plywood on. Looks perfect, it's a nice uh, tight seam. Just pulled up to the cleaners, the curtains should be ready to be picked up. This is how the cabinets come from HD Supply. You have to assemble them yourself, which is actually good because that'll allow me to alter the backs of the cabinets so that they fit the contour of the wall. All right, let's see how we did. All the seams are pretty tight. So now we should be able to transfer this onto the other piece. And I put a bit of silicone on here. This should fit right in. Nice and snug. Yeah. So I have this sink base cabinet in place now, and this is where it's going to go. I have another 18 inch cabinet that's going to go there. Alright, check it out. Cabinets are done. So these are the latches. That opens up. Now it's locked in. Doesn't jiggle at all. So everything's working great.
Okay, the fuse is in. And the moment of truth. We flip this switch. Should have the water pump turned on. And then we have to check if there's any leaks. Okay, I hear it kicking on. There's the outside corner trim piece on there now. Only thing left to do is just uh, silicone all around the corners and everywhere now. So you can see it's a pretty cool little low profile handle. This small space, it's nice to have a small handle like that so you don't bump into it and stuff. I'll put a link for this in the description down below. You can see by the bed over here, the molding overlaps the seam and the shiplap. I don't really like the way that looks, so I'm gonna trim that down. Here's the piece that I trimmed down so it doesn't overlap that seam in the shiplap. I think it looks a little bit better like this. And here's what it looks like after it's all installed. I just need to give it one more coat of paint, but this is pretty much what it's going to look like. track put this back on this side there we go that latches and closes very cool guys that's gonna do it stock headlights and now for the light bar <laughs> it's just insane 